Good afternoon. Today we're going to be doing classwork 6.5, residuals. Today you will investigate residuals. A residual is the difference between what actually occurred and what was predicted by your best fit model. Number one, Battle Creek cereal is trying, to, uh, is trying a variety of packaging sizes for their Crispy Puff cereal. Below is a list of five current packages. Make a scatter plot of the data, scale the x-axis by 25s, and the y-axis by 50s. All right, so just let me move this up a little bit. So we need to go by 25s on the x-axis. So 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Uh, and because it is very hard to see that, um, I'm just going to write every 100 from now on. So 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, 325, 350, 375, 400, and 425, 450, 475, 500. And this is going to be packaging cardboard. And then on the y-axis, it's going to be the net weight of serial grams. And we're going to go by 50s here. Uh, so once again, I'll just count by 100 so that it fits easier. So 50, 100, 150, 200, and go ahead and finish plotting the y-axis. Perfect. So I scaled my y-axis by 100s. Um, I'm so, sorry, by 50s, but I only wrote every 100. And I also wrote my label, which is net weight of serial. So now we have to plot the points. So go ahead and plot those six points, or I'm sorry, those five points. All right, perfect. So we've got the five points, they're all plotted. Um, and now we can go and start answering the question. So it says, write a few sentences to the executive of Battle Creek Serial that describes the association. So let's remember the things from last week. Um, we wanna know the strength, we wanna know the form, and we wanna know the direction. So this is going to be a, so there is a, uh, strong, since all of our dots are close together, um, they do make a line, so it'll be linear, and then they also do make a, um, they go in a positive direction. As the weight of the cereal increases, so does the packaging amount of cardboard. So go ahead and write a sentence about that. All right, so I wrote, there's a strong positive linear association. When the size of cardboard increases, so does the weight of the cereal. Go ahead and pause the video if you need a second to write that down. Uh, the next question says, find an equation the executives can use to predict the net weight of the cereal based on the amount of cardboard used for the package. So for this, we need to draw a line of best fit. Um, once again, I usually pick two dots that I think uh, fit the data really well. All right, as you can see, I picked this dot, which is 225, 290, and then I picked this dot which is 350 comma 650. So I picked that fourth point and I picked the second point. Um, once again, if you pick two different points, uh, there's nothing wrong with your answer. It is gonna look a little bit different, but it will still be close or it should be close to mine. All right, so now we have to find an equation of this. Remember to find an equation, you need two things. You need to find the slope and you need to solve for the y-intercept. So let's do that down below. Uh, first thing I'm going to have you tell me, though, is what is the slope? So before I calculate it, let's see if you can calculate it. So in order to find the slope, we start with our box and our two points. X, Y point. So my first one is 225, 290. My second point is 350, 650. So remember your slope is change of y over change of x. So I need to find my change of y and I need to find my change of x. So you go from 290 to 650. On a calculator, you're just gonna take that and you're gonna put in 650 minus 
290, and you get 360. So it's increasing by 360. So my change of y is plus 360. And then my change of x, in order to do that, once again, um, subtract the two numbers, and you get 125. So an increase of 125. And then you just have to put in your calculator and see what that is. So I'll do 360 divided by 125, and I get 2.88. So my slope is going to be 2.88. Now we have to find your y-intercept. Go ahead and tell me what the y-intercept is on the computer. Perfect. So the way we calculate it is, remember, we take our equation, y equals mx plus b and we plug in everything we know. Um, we can plug in a y value. I'll just use this first point, 225 and 290. So I'm going to say 290 is equal to our m. Remember, our m is 2.88 times our x. Our x is going to be 225 plus b. So now I can use my algebra skills and solve for b. First thing I do is order of operations, which is means I'm going to do the multiplication. So I do 2.88 times 225. That gives me 648. Now I can subtract 648 from both sides. And when I do the subtraction, 290 minus 648, I get negative 358. So my y-intercept is going to be negative 358. Um, and now that I know what my slope is, now that I know what my y-intercept is, I can solve, or I can write my equation. So go ahead and answer the question of what is the equation. Perfect. And the equation is going to be y equals my slope, 2.88. And then subtract your y-intercept, which is 358. So that is my equation for the line of best fit. And question C says, tell the executive how much cereal, a new experimental green package that uses 250 inch squared of cardboard, is predicted to hold. So I've got my equation, y equals 2.88x minus 358. Right. And it's 250 inches squared of cardboard. Is that my x or my y? Well, I can see that packaging cardboard is my x. So I'm going to plug that value in for x. y equals 2.88 times 250. Now I need to calculate uh, do order of operations, do the multiplication. So 2.88 times 250 is going to give me 720. So y equals 720 minus 358. And when I do that subtraction on my calculator, you get 362. 2 uh, grams for my net weight, 362 grams. And also, don't forget we can look at our graph. If we wanted to, we could have found 250, uh, which would be right here, and looked where it was. You can see it's right over the 350 mark. Um, so we can look and say, hey, 362, that's probably correct. All right, go ahead and go on to the next video.